You did a super job wrapping things up. And I'm not just saying that because I have to. I didn't want to make a big deal about this until after we won, but, well, I found some code snippets in one of Mr. House's data banks that will let me, um, reprogram my personality to be a little more assertive, basically. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to take me a while, so it'll seem like I'm offline. But don't worry, everything will be okay. I've updated the Securitron's targeting parameters so they know what to do. Vegas will be protected. So that's where I'll be, off making a few changes. And I, I guess I'll see you around. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas' independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended, quickly. Chaos became uncertainty, then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting the ideals of independence, the courier was recognized as the man responsible for a truly free New Vegas. He ensured Mr. House's tyranny was broken and neither Caesar's Legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. Though some super mutants and Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utobitha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Still grappling with self-doubt over his usefulness in the face of old age, Raoul was never able to find peace with himself. Eventually, he left the Mojave and assumed a new name, as he had done so many times before. Though the wasteland became anarchic after Hoover Dam, the boomer's display of power dissuaded fortune seekers from attempting to penetrate Nellis. After the courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. With New Vegas' independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. The slaughter of the Van Graffs in the Crimson Caravan caused no end of trouble for NCR back west. Already struggling, NCR's supply lines suffered further as the two caravans withdrew support until the massacre in the east was resolved. Cass lived to see the courier bring down three armies, and by her count, that was three more than she'd expected. She kept quiet about that, though. Thanks to the courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. The kings retained their control of Freeside, and while they continued to favor the needs of locals, they tolerated the citizens of the defeated NCR. Revitalized by Violetta's brain, Rex eventually learned to balance the memories of his old life with Violetta's experiences among the brutal fiends. His mind had difficulty adjusting, but Rex eventually found peace with his new, more vicious self. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, Several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. The NCR 
battered by the loss of the dam, were unable to devote any troops to retaking the correctional facility from the powder gangers. As a result, powder ganger raids on caravans became an unfortunate fact of life in the Mojave for years to come. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. Prim Slim proves to be an able-minded, if not able-bodied, sheriff for Prim. And due to his slow speed, some crooks get away without a scratch. But Prim continues to prosper under his watchful robotic eye. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. <laughs>